Hello guys, welcome to Power BI tutorial. Today we will see the difference between import mode and direct query mode. In import mode, per dataset size limit is 1 GB, and in direct query mode, there is no limitation of dataset size because this is live connection. Data is directly connected with live database. In import mode, you can you can import multiple data sources. Like in single time, you can uh, you can import data from Excel, JSON file, CSV file, and text file. But in direct query case, at single time, you can connect with single data source. Suppose you are connecting with SQL Server, so same time you cannot fetch data from Oracle Server. Refresh frequency. In import mode, you can schedule your data set hourly, weekly, and daily basis. But in direct query mode, you not need to refresh data because data is directly connected with live database, and that query also provide schedule refresh in minutes so you can select you can refresh your data set in minutes performance sometimes depends on data import mode is very fast comparison to direct query because in import mode power bi loads all data in cache and when you interact with any visual power bi directly fetch data from cache so you will get output very fast in direct query totally depends on how fast the network connectivity and data source queries and in direct query mode, Power BI only store metadata and schema structure under model. I will show you this in practical session. Data storage mode. In import mode, Power BI store data in Power BI cloud service because Power BI load all data in cache. But in direct query mode, Power BI not load any data in Power BI cache. So that's why Power BI not store any data in Power BI service. In import mode, data set size is up to 1 GB. For direct query, there is no limitation of data set size. In import mode, we target small and medium data set. And for direct query, we can work with large data set and data could be more than 1 GB. Now move to practical part. Guys, as you see here, I have opened two files. One is direct query mode file and second one is import query mode mode file right so firstly we will discuss import query mode so guys i load one data using sql server using excel data source as you see here data is my data set name and i just hover the mouse on data set name and it is showing me my storage mode is import and data is my data set name and last difference when i import data in using import query mode right so this is my last refresh time. So guys, in import mode, when you want to get latest report from source, and it could be as SQL, it could be Excel, and any file. So you have to click manually to get latest record. Okay. So you have to click on refresh button. So just click to refresh button. Then it will load all new added records in your Power BI cache, right? So just over the mouse again on data set time. Then see last refresh time is my current time when I click to refresh icon, right? And if you notice in left hand side, there is three icons. One is report icon, second one is data icon and third one is model icon, right? So report means in report tab, we create visualization. As you see here, I have three visualization. One is slicer and stack, bar, stack column chart and last one is donut chart, right? See, this is donut chart. See here. So, this is report tab. When you click to data tab, so under data tab, Power BI show you your data set data. Right? So, this is my data set. And when I click select my data, suppose if you have multiple data set, you just click on data set and Power BI display your data preview here. So, that is called data. Third one is model tab. When you click model tab, or will show you schema or metadata structure of your data set. So right now I have one data set. So data is my data set name and these are the column active cases country and here. So in model tab, or will show you metadata and schema structure of your data set. Right. So hope you clear uh, three tab functionality. Now move to direct query see this is my direct query file here i load data 
using SQL data source and when I hover the mouse on my data set name so it is showing me all discussion about my storage mode source type and source name so as you see here COVID-19 is my data set name a storage mode is direct query source type is SQL server database and source name is desktop something and adventure works 2017 is my database name right and guys see in left hand side only two icons are visible but in import import mode case i have three icons reason behind in import mode power bi loads all data in power bi cache so that's why data icon is unable but in direct query case power bi not store any data in power bi cache so that's why data tab is disabled for direct query mode and here is only two tab one is report tab and third one second one is model tab under model tab as we discussed earlier here power bi stores all metadata and schema structure details of your data set and report tab we can create report okay so guys hope you cleared uh, main difference between direct query and import mode Thank you so much.